picture. Right. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. <laughs> Let's look for other spots.
<laughs> Cloud. This is spot on, Cloud. Okay, two down. Just one more left. Let's go. our way.
JFK. <laughs> Whoa. I know you snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Oh. Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect. Aerith. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Let's take the photo and go. Sure. Sounds good. Wow, it looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? I see you're approaching the signal. To just be in the presence of the Nanaki is such an honor. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is that materia I smell? My precious materia, where are you? No need to be shy, come back. Yuffie's gonna take you home. it out in time. Nothing can kill this bloom. <laughs> Clearly. Hmm? Say, where's Sonon? Um, here. Hey, you three! <gasps> Where are my manners? These guys are from Avalanche HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. And I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all... Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... 
I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... We wanted to help. We really did. It all seemed so hope. That's when the call came. From the folks... We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another. HQ needed volunteers to help. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. We'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up, taking each and every floor. Hmm. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. <sighs> I think we have to assume they're all... That's enough. First, We'll check in with Matt. On it. Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the splinter cell. Uh, Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Go on, Ida. <laughs> Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. Come on, man. Get the lead out. Don't want to be left behind. Hey. Thanks for the assist! Oh, help me out of here! Alright, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell! Yeah! yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming! Uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> Go, I'll catch up. Right. We were all fired up, ready to fight. on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. <sighs> Whatever. In times past, the Sectra came to fonts like these to give thanks to the live stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still stand. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all the... Hey, Barrett. Why don't we give them a hand? Is there anything we can do for them? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life. But when they're as busted as this one here, 
You can't even get close to do her. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe. Thing is, little guy's just too old. Perhaps I... Robotics is one of my... Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Go on! Ask him to do something! <laughs>
Wow. It's a shame the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <sighs> What's that? I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. I've deduced this place was built by the Cetra. Precisely what is unclear. I remember hearing about this growing up. You don't think... Hmm. Perhaps. But the energy signature would suggest, given that it so strongly resembles that of a proto-relic, I surmise these structures were just... For now, I'm sure we'll find something within. I've also developed an additional... Hopefully, it expedites...
all talked about coming out to see the canyon one day. That night at the bar, remember? Yeah. You guys were trying some new cocktails for me. Mmm! Yep, this is the one! Bartender! Whip me up another Costa del Sol! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> one more couldn't hurt. Now me, I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mm, that one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Guess what I got? Huh? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt! Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon without a touch of local flavor, right? Trust me, a dash of this will make all the difference. What's Cosmo about it? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. That cell's gotta be laced with something. Wow! <laughs> You're right! Wow! It's like a whole new drink. Man, it's too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that. Bought out the whole store so you can keep on mixing. But those will only last us so long. Especially if this Cosmo Canyon becomes a hit. Gonna need to stock up. In that case, what about a trip to the source, huh? We could all bring back as much salt as we could carry. What do you say? Count me in. Home of planetology, here we come! It's gonna be great! Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Cause our books say otherwise. Here. There you have it! The boss himself says it's a done deal! To our generous leader! <laughs> to Barrett! To Barrett. <laughs> Honestly, y'all are just too much! <laughs> <laughs> Look guys, we made it. Would've liked to have gotten here sooner, but... Wait, you fixed it already? Ages ago, slow folks. Come on, double time. Coming. to the punch for once. Not that it mattered. We still can't reach the font. And there's a weird fiend. Got any smart ideas? <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. I've prepared an additional inch to allow you to progress further.
think that did the trick? Yeah, this font's good to go. Man, we really are dead weight, aren't we? Just slowing you down. Blessings of the planet be upon you. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, my dear child? What truth have you to tell us this night? Really, guys? Me? You, a resident gourmand. Come on, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess... Uh, Can't hear you. The, the truth is... Uh, uh, the truth is, I just want to do more for you guys. I'm sick of feeling like dead weight around here. I just... I. For the love of God, not this again. Come on, out with it. Which one of us said that? Was it me? Biggs? Or was it... <laughs> no, nobody said anything, honest. But you never would. You guys are too nice for that. You really think she's too nice? I'm nice to those who deserve it. See? What did I tell you? Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> Seriously, we wouldn't be here without you. Huh. Was always down on himself, even though he shouldn't have been. Wedge worked harder than any of us. That's just who he was. Always trying to do better. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. If only he'd stuck to looking after his cats and enjoying good food. Let's go.
confirmed. When I die, will I return to the live stream too? Well, yeah. What? Oh. What's that? A gift Wedge left behind for. Listen, I just. Oh, we we didn't. Now that the ruins are fixed, actually. I was what the- Wait, you can't be serious. Think about it. We haven't heard Jack from HQ. Uh, I know. What do you say? We be- And who the hell said you could? People not willing to die for the cause got no place with us. Uh, I'm sorry. I... Your hearts are in the right place. But y'all, y'all got a different path to walk. One that's all your own. I can't eat another bite. <clears throat> I suppose it's time for yours truly to say his piece. Here it comes, the grand finale. May the planet guide your words. And keep them brief while she's at it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the five of us here all came together Cause we wanted to save this planet of ours. Ain't made much money. Ain't made a lot of friends either. But the one thing we do have deep in our hearts is a passion. A fire that burns for the cause. That won't stop burning till Shinra goes up in smoke. The road ahead won't be easy. But I ain't stopping. Cause even if it costs me my life, I'm uh, taking down Shinra uh -huh. and taking back our planet. So if you got the guts, then come with me. I'm hungry after all, for justice. <laughs> Aye. You know I'm in. My man. Well, if everyone's feeling it, how about we keep things going with another round? <laughs> Tifa, get me another Cosmo Canyon. Sure. Make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> saying we should forget about them. No way I ever could. But you and me, we gotta stop living in guilt and regret. Yeah. Today's a new day, people. So let's not waste it. Come on, y'all. <laughs> hey, wait. Forgot this. Here. Go again. Just give it up. The proto relic's staying with me. 
Ha! Silence! You caught me unawares once, but it will not happen again! Burning desire... ...to reclaim my stolen prize... ...rages evermore. That which you have taken... ...shall be returned! Genji, I am outmatched. That blade you wield. Oh, the mere sight of it has kindled in me a covetous desire. Could it be that hunger for weapons brought me hither? Wherefore does the memory elude me? Return what you have stolen! My Genji! Give it back! Cartel! Stand and deliver! Halt, I say! Let it go. Uh, not until you return what is mine. Uh, uh. Only then shall I rest. Only then shall you know peace, but not until that day. <laughs> So. Wait. It is, of course, too early to see, but I suspect they may be some manner of armaments formed from matter not normally. If we assume the giant was also from another, then there is a possibility that he was the. Wait, so if they are. Given the phenomena he has been able to conjure in this dimension, I shudder to think what havoc he might wreak. It might be prudent for us to gather a bit more. For now, I propose that we retrieve the artifact.
Wait, there's a gate? How are we supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, forgive me! You'll need a key! It slipped my mind. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home! Now, there's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. All but with her. You have the Mako meter. Yeah. Five, eight. Hmm. But it's still too soon to draw any conclusions. Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. Doesn't look good. Ten. What's a GZ anyway? GZ stands for Geisel. His first name. Mugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits. Oh. <coughs> but more importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. Come 
just come from for the speed of a lifetime. You gotta protect the spring. was an unfortunate turn of events. No matter, there are others. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels.
We weren't fast enough. Pouting about it won't help any. Only one life spring remains. You must focus. Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Marco meter, if you would. Yeah. <laughs> 
it together. Good luck. You won't regret this. <laughs> Too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated. Oh, I harbored doubts. I now concede that you were right. Something is. Many questions remain, but I can. Life springs are founts of Marco, whose locations are dictated by the light. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a war still just a theory. Given all I have witnessed. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just... Oh! <laughs> oh, why, it's from a watchman in town. Oh! What? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of... But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nana. Though I know this is sudden. Will you lend us your raid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Perpetrated under the banner of planetology, it turns my stomach honestly. 
fellow boot. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Be Are you in need of guidance? For our inaction. We should have done something when we had the chance. There's no point lamenting choices made long ago. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? A seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. Now then. Ah. Uh, mm hmm. All three of your photographs are. Hmm. As always, oh, no matter the calamity, we're interesting. It is perhaps this is a sign that our planet... Yes, and if we take note of their positioning... I see it! An unprecedented configure... Hey. Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just... Right. That face you made earlier, what was... I don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. Something that ought to honestly, it bespeaks of some might say it belongs in a gallery. Put your faith in our great mother. Within you all, Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Oh, good. Not a... We just got word from the survey team that they spot... Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happen to be near the elevator. Okay, I'll go take a look. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. Yeah? Not now! 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 Not now
What now? We follow him. Perfect. Thank for mercy. 
Silence, Seto! We beseeched your aid, begged you to recover the Black Materia. Uh, what? I... Do not feign ignorance, Seto!
I'm not Seto. I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father. I see. As you... Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Though we had braced ourselves for battle, we found ourselves captivated by his risk. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity. We desire the return of our black material. We believed Seto to be a man of his word. Our hopes placed in him, only to be true. One by one, our arrows found their mark. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our veiled Seto would not forsake his duty. He was resolute, and with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve was not long until we lost heart, conceding the future. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want... And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to... Like I told him, I'll do everything I can. All I ask is that you wait in your cave and... And if we comply... It might take some time. Very well. And thus, the promise has been... You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the Materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone. If it meant we just have to find that, we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it. Not the Gi, or... But I do want to keep my promise. I'm gonna find a way. There's gotta be an answer out there somewhere. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams. Yeah. Remember that. Hold tight to yours. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you see.
Not that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Seth, my friend, you couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far, but not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Sephiroth, wait up! Bring me the black materia. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it.
Uh, Kate? I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Aye. Not so worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Cause Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important too, but no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah, it's this or nothing. We should get going.
Pistol hast du nicht stark gemacht?
Leave us alone, will ya? Oh, <laughs> 
I was able to locate it. It should be on a nearby. Once they discovered Mako in the area, Shin- Oh, but they've long since vacated the aisle, so I-
sanctuaries is Odin, the patron knight of war and death. He rides in from the land of the dead, astride his steed, Slaythir, claiming the souls of fallen warriors as his own. Or so the story said. Coming through.
analysis complete. This should allow me to strengthen. Nibelheim's not far yet. First time back since. Yep. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Lots happened since then.
will be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare evil wolf barrier detected. Sensei guidance protocol. The wolves of this region maintain a strict hierarchy. The commentator is said to be imbued with an azure flame, which gives you her a distinct hue. I believe this wolf will often distract friends, allowing for its captains to sneak up and catch their quarry by surprise. They are highly there are countless stories of these wolves turning the tables on would-be poachers. We will never see a better chance to study the ways of these clever creatures. So go get that data. But watch out for a friend. My turn.
Billy? What are you doing out? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately, so I came here to train. Train? You don't know where you are. This is the home of the Chocobo Sage, a living legend. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? You don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. There's this big race at the saucer. We gotta get in on that, so I can see. Hey, tell me you're not picking garbage out of a pool isn't trained. You see it too, right? So weird. Come on, he's just... I suppose I haven't done much to... If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. What am I... Need you to find her. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. Please, Cloud, would you mind? You've got a gift for wrangling the wild... A bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated skills like those of... Why can't I... Oh, damn it! You know... Oh... Aha! There we go! What? They were far and away, my best. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as... <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about it. You're gonna give me whiplash, son! <sighs> The Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He let, got them hooked on gambling, pushed him to rack up tons of... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? Only one Sam in this... I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard... Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about Chocobo. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work. I... <laughs> choco grass is a genuine panacea, and once I am cured, <sighs> if not for him. Then please, do it. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, it's called the floating flower. Cause, but with an ocean chocobo, you can hurt tufts all to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> You get your hand. Well, well, 
if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, I promise I'll make you please. Tell Hold your chocobo, son. There's what a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. You got a lot of nerve casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena, forced you to get and all that running across the water you did? What do you say, Cloud? I can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Think of it as a fine. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the. No, it's fine. Then it's settled. I'll. And dear Selena will be your. If Cloud wins, does that mean. You've got a deal. But know that I. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. You got any choco gr Thanks. If you find any more, I'll be here. Now how about plumes? I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. I... You prepared to...
my ever-loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. Surprise. Well, shoot. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing... A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Hmm, how you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobo? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win.
Take out that spring. all the crystals located in evil. Thank you for your help. Odin will serve as a powerful ally. Whisking your foes away... Ah! 
You'll first need to confront the Divine via the Combat Simulator. We're in dangerous territory now. Rare Valron variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. It is thought that the ominous coloring of the Don't hold back. is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds to the complex nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a threat. The side, Valron is fighting. Your belt also the reactor was constructed. The cut was formed. There were rumors at the time that these creatures were not undergone a horrific transformation into muscle exposure. Setting aside the veracity of this place, one thing is certain. The advent of the reactor coincides with the Valor's appearance. This opportunity to delve into the mysteries of their origins. Request. 